clunky you know not not too fluid not like how you know like the other arkham games like arkham knight or arkham city arkham asylum it just just looks kind of someone did a someone did a side by side of uh i think it was red hood's gameplay in arkham knight and then his gameplay in gotham knights and the just downgrade of a almost like nine-year-old game is just insane Mm. yeah it's just it just looks rough um yeah so that's a shame um but hey hopefully i mean still looking forward to ragnarok it's still there um and hey the wolverine game is going to be coming out hopefully we get a gameplay trailer of that and then the spider-man 2 game is going to be coming out tony todd is venom that's going to be awesome so yeah so can't worry too much about superhero video games you still got some great stuff coming out on we gonna be all right yeah um all right let's get into some news people um we'll be discussing the amaranth situation um obviously if you've kind of been on the internet for a little bit been following it you kind of know what's been happening um if you don't i'm gonna give a brief summary of it uh so amaranth um uh, in, in brief uh in brief uh, uh content warning for uh, domestic abuse um yeah um so you have uh amaranth famous streamer um if you've been on the platform of twitch you probably know who she is um you know she amasses a a huge large audience um you know very very uh successful on the platform um i believe somebody said she's getting paid 1.5 million a month uh for for doing twitch um and then plus well plus only fans something like that yeah um something like that so she was, yeah, very successful on the platform. Um, then there was something that came out recently when she was doing a live stream. Um, the video was out there. Um, I'm not going to really play the video because it's 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 a pretty uh, traumatic kind of video. Uh, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to listen to. Uh, where she's kind of uh, you know she's in an argument with her husband. Um, the husband's doing a lot of yelling, screaming, threatening uh, her, um, her safety. Um, and, it's, you know, then it, it kind of got revealed from that. It was a very domestic uh, kind of violence, abuse kind of situation he- there uh, where, you know, she's been kind of in a c- controlling relationship with her husband uh, that he's basically been the one that's been forcing her to stream, forcing her to do kind of these hot tub streams and kind of capitalize on that rising uh, market, um, you know, on Twitch and everything like that. Um, and also that, you know, he was, you know, in control of also all her finances and things like that. Um, there is an update uh, that did come out um, where she did uh, a post that stream uh, that she, she said that, you know, she was okay because she had, you know, police come to her house and check up on her. Um, and she also did a stream post that and said that she is back in control uh, of, of her finances. So, so this is an article here. This is uh, from uh, Polygon. Uh, this is from October 17th. I have this article here. So it says, uh, popular Twitch streamer and OnlyFans content content creator Amara said in an impassioned tearful stream on Saturday that she's being, being manip- manipulated and abused by her husband Amaranth whose real name is Caitlin uh, Sar- Saragasa uh, said her husband who was not named has forced her to stream, threatened to hurt her dogs, and has taken control of her finances as a bank account, um, basically living in a fancy pri- prison, Amaranth said in a li- on the live stream. Uh, Amaranth's stream has been since removed from Twitch, but clips of it have been widely shared on Twitter and YouTube. During the live stream, Amaranth said that her husband saw the hot tub meta and took twitch subgenre where people stream in bikinis while in a hot tub as an opportunity that he told her uh and that he told uh, her to tell viewers sh- that she was single because it would ruin the business model to reveal she was married. Amaranth shared a close-up close up view of displaying text threads that she said is between her and her husband. The depicted messages called the uh, recipient a dumb fuck and include threats to dump luggage, throw merch off a balcony, and delete Amaranth's social media. Most serious threats of financial abuse and threats to kill Amaranth's dogs are also part of the text. Amaranth also shared footage of a broken doorknob saying their husband broke it, uh, thus preventing from being able to lock the door. Um, so there's a lot of different things like that. Uh, but the update is that Amaranth uh, uh, and people on the team were able to talk to her and say she's fine. Uh, and then she spent all day talking to her husband to sort things out. Um, and then in a, in a video uh, that 
uh, which reached out to Amaranth's assistant, uh, said that she's safe and okay. Uh, Polygon also reached out uh, via email to Amaranth, who, uh, as well as her uh, content lead, Mars, for comment. Uh, but she has not responded to that comment. Uh, but uh, there was also another video of her saying that, you know, she's kind of all better now and that, you know, she's kind of doing better. Um, yeah, so you kind of had that, so obviously, a tragic situation um, of that and obviously very messed up. Um, but as we kind of said before, um, you know what I mean? Um, and she reported that on uh, October 18th uh, that she said she was safe and she had reclaimed control of her social media uh, and bank accounts and that she was seeking legal and emotional counsel, uh, you know, and everything like that. So, um, like I said, we like I said, that situation, obviously, it, it, it somewhat of it speaks for itself uh, to a degree, I think, mostly. Um, but, you know, when takes like this kind of, you know, when things like this kind of happen, it's like, you know, almost people rush to have one of the worst takes possible um, that you can kind of that you can kind of imagine. Uh, I'm going to pull up some of them, um, some of the kind of bad uh, uh, t tweets that you can kind of see uh, there. I'm going to pull them up right here. Uh, one of the bigger ones was from uh, Keemstar, um, who I don't know if you know Keemstar people, to, you know, but he's another kind of big uh, social media uh, influencer person that you kind of see out here. Um, you see that in one of his tweets in a deleted thread that he had about Amaranth, um, mm -hmm. he said, clearly uh, husband is abusing, showed the text, but um, I don't think anything is good yeah, been I followed by but. Uh, yeah, yeah the, no, no sentence in the English language. There is nothing that can be good after the word but. It's like, yeah, he's abusive, but you can just, yeah, just, just, just stop. Yeah, I'm not racist, but, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's, I don't, I don't think anything's followed by that. Uh, but he said, Amaranth uh, herself has scammed so many guys online claiming she was single for years. These Twitch, these Twitch streams do not care about their viewers. They all just use you and your low IQs to fill their pockets. Um, Motherfucker, isn't that exactly what you're doing? <laughs> Star? Um, then you had uh, another one here. Um, you have another tweet here. This is just not anybody big. It was just kind of just a random tweet here. It, sa it says one of the reasons why I'm inclined to think that this is a hoax is is that she's wearing very revealing clothing during it. If she was dressed more modestly while explaining how she's been exploited the whole time, I'd believe her. It would show that. Uh, it would show she felt uh, violated. Um, you kind of have that tweet there. Um, then also kind of another one here. Um, now, this one is from a, um, a person with a bigger account. Um, it's from somebody called Your Fellow a uh, Arab. Um, you know, it seems like he's, a, I guess, a comedian, you know, c comedic type personality there. Um, Got to put that in kind of quotations, you know, com comedic kind of personality there. Okay, is he like an actually comedic personality or is he just saying shit to piss people off because that's edgy? Um, I think it's, I think it's kind of maybe a mix of both. Really, I don't know much about the guy personally, but, um, he had a tweet, uh, where he had says, uh, Amaranth, uh, has a husband, uh, this whole time yet has been grifting, uh, one thousands of tier threes every month. How do you charge back on a credit card? So that was like his response, uh, to one of the situation. And then his follow up, he quote tweeted, it was, uh, good morning. Y'all got to read the replies on this shit. Uh, they're so good with a laughing emotion uh right there um so you 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 kind of have that um yeah so and then also i've seen some tweets where people have said like well i don't know i'm hesitant to believe her because it might be another amber heard situation or maybe she's doing this you know like amber heard uh we, we saw how kind of that went and everything um so not to talk too much about amaranth but just like the the situation kind of behind uh, everything kind of of uh, of a lot of the discourse kind of surrounding it of you have kind of takes like this. Um, so you have the Keemstar take. Um, well, actually, let me let me get you in here first about what you just think about okay. the um, Amaranth thing, just in general, just to get your opinion on the situation. Well, just in general, just my take on it, and it's it's tragic to hear stories about this because sadly, just because of the market is there. I imagine this situation isn't that uncommon. I imagine this is happening to a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people that are streaming nowadays. 
but luckily Amaranth was able to escape that, which is something that unfortunately not a lot of people are able to do. Now, the fucking shitty thing is the internet does what it does, where it just has just brings up the worst takes possible brought up by the most popular people. It's like that whole thing of of it's like uh <clears throat> Yeah, what was that take? It was, uh, uh, in, I'm hesitant to believe her because this could be an Amber Heard situation. What the fuck does she have to gain by coming out as being abused by her partner? And in that entire phone call, none of that sounds staged. That's pretty much dialogue textbook of abusive behavior. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, and, and, like, the whole take of, uh, of, yeah, it's like, wow, she was lying to her fans that she was married. Were you not fucking listening? Her husband forced her to do that because that would be better for business. Mm, yeah. Um, so that's kind of one of the one of the things I want to bring up here. So the, the conversation I've seen online about like calling her a scammer or she scammed guys or things like that. Um, that takes so one, like you said, I mean, obviously her husband forced her to say she was single, right? Um and even if she did lie about being single just on her own volition, right? If she even just said herself, I don't really consider that scamming. It's, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's not scamming. Every single fucking streamer, every single, like, performer on OnlyFans, they're entitled to their private lie. Right. I, what they do off camera is none of your fucking business. Yeah. So I don't think anybody's disclose has to disclose information uh, about you know, about their private life if they don't want to, you know what I mean? If, if uh, somebody, and I was talking to somebody, they say like, well, she could have said, you know, like this is in a scenario, like if someone just said like, if they weren't obviously being controlled by their husband to say this, but if they did say like, well, it's just none of your business if I'm you know, in a relationship or not, you know what I mean? Then, and then the person was like, well, that would leave up to the person to go like, okay, well, you know what I mean? I can kind of discern from that, that the person's probably in a relationship, but even if they, I mean, I think sometimes they'll say they're single also because you'll see that there's a lot of cases where you have female, you know, content creators or people online that have big platforms um, that, you know, their partners might be in danger if they say that they're in a relationship. You know, there are cases of, you know what I mean, stalkers or people who are harassers coming to people and like trying to kill their partners, you know, for being in a relationship with them because, you know, a lot of these people, they form these parasocial bonds, as they call them, you know, with these creators um, because they feel like, you know what I mean, they, they you know, they, they, they can get them or they can, they're worth, you know what I mean, they, they can be in a relationship with them. So even if she did say she was single, it's like, I don't know how that would indicate to people that you have a chance to date her, uh, you know what I mean, even if she did. Yeah, and, yeah, and it's not even like a... a a situation regarding that it's like amaranth has also famously you know been swatted been stalked been uh harassed in a lot of cases like this by fans that assume they have this kind of bond with her hmm. yeah um and that's kind of i mean you know famous people i mean when you're you know you grow a big platform you are kind of like a quasi famous kind of person you deal with a lot of stuff that famous people deal with um and that's kind of what happens uh you know what i mean a lot of stalking a lot of harassing even if you're not a woman on the level of amaranth a lot of women do deal with that um you know online um so i don't think you know you really have to disclose that information i don't see it as scamming to say that you're single i mean if you give all these subs and all these bits thinking that this person's going to notice you and then going to date you that's kind of your fault i i don't really yeah that's yeah that's a you problem my guy yeah i i i don't i don't put that on on the feet of the uh of, of the streamer themselves i mean are there streamers now to to keemstar's point of like you know, the streamers don't care about their viewers and they kind of use a lot of, the, you know, them to fill their pockets. That is the case with some streamers. Um, I will say that will use their audience and use the bond with their audience to milk them for money and, and everything like that and, and, and kind of use them and don't care about them. I will say that's the case with streamers. I mean, that's not, you know, uncommon uh, that you kind of see in this field. I mean, what do you kind of think about that? I mean, yeah, most, I, I'd imagine... You know, very few, I'd say 
I want to believe that most streamers are like good people actually care about their audiences. But you, then again, you get the grifters that exactly are the kind of people that Keemstar is talking about. The guys that do not care about their audience, that are just using them to line their pockets. Well, guess what? You're the ones lining them, dude. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I mean, and also to the reality of the situation, was Emirates audience, was it filled with guys, you know, uh, simps as you want to call them, uh, you know, people who wanted to be with her, and that's the reason they gave it. I mean, I would say that would you could probably make a reasonable guess that that makes up a large portion of our audience are men that want to be with her. You know what I mean? And that's the reason there. Um, and and you see that with sometimes with female you know creators of social media people that when they announce that they have a partner, their numbers drop. Like they'll lose followers, they'll lose you know subscribers, they'll lose all this stuff when they announce that they have a boyfriend. Like I, I've heard a lot of female uh, content creators. I think that happened also with um, I think uh, Nico Lowell. I think I think that happened with her when she had a when she announced she had a boyfriend. I think she lost uh, followers as a result of that. So you kind of do see that. Um, I mean, if you want to follow a female streamer because she looks good and you think she's pretty, I mean, that's your prerogative. That's, you know, whatever. I mean, you do you, whatever. Um, you know, uh, I don't, you know, if that's what you want to do. Um, I just think it's like, you can't, there's a boundary there. You can't cross, cross that bound, uh, boundary of, you know, you're not in a relationship with this person just because you're in their chat and they may acknowledge you, you know, I would only see it as scamming if she, ever promised the like if you give me this many subs this many bits i may got, go out on a date with you or i may be in a relationship with you and to my knowledge amaranth has never said or done anything like that to my knowledge unless you know unless i don't know if you know uh, have heard about something like that i never heard of anything like that that's not really common i'm pretty sure that's like uh that's a like line in the uh, agreement to uh, become a streamer it's like you can't get away like stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I think that's the only way I would kind of see, see this kind of scam in there is like her really, in, you know what I mean, thinking that, oh, I will be in a relationship, you know, who's ever the biggest supporter, you know, to, of me. And I, I'll, I'll do that. I don't think she's ever done that. I don't think. Um, and then coming to the point of you kind of have some people, um, and I've also seen some people go like her recording it that's the reason why they think it's staged. Um, and then to my kind of thinking of that and my response to that is just that, I mean, if she doesn't record it, then people say she's lying. If she does record it, people say it's staged um, and it's fake. Yeah, so exactly. it's kind of like, you know, you want to record it. I imagine, you know, people are saying, well, it's evidence. You want to have evidence of this person doing and, and doing these things and saying these things um obviously for later on um for for things but i mean what do you kind of think about that take i mean that take um hey just like you were saying uh if someone claims abuse then like the first thing that some very shitty corners of the internet are going to go to is okay where's the evidence uh, do you have any physical or any like kind of evidence like that? And that's what the whole recording thing was. It's to make sure that people believed her. Hmm. And also, the shit that that was uh, actually said in the phone call is some of the most vile shit I've ever heard. And you can't stage stuff like that. It, hmm. It's like something like that. If it is scripted, you know when it is. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I mean, I, 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 I get the the has. I mean, having having skepticism is not a bad thing. Um, to, to be skeptical of things is not a is not a bad thing. Uh, but when you have a lot of stuff like this kind of going on, when you have I mean, the, the the text messages, you got the you know recording of her, you know, the husband talking to her. Um, you know, I, you know, I mean, I think that's some pretty damning kind of stuff there. Um, and to compare her to Amber Heard or that situation, um, again, I, I mean, I don't understand that those two things necessarily kind of correlate unless you, unless you think all domestic situations are the same just because, you know what I mean, um, uh, abuse or, or uh uh, you know situations are the same so i don't see the need to compare it to the amber heard situation just because 
just to go like, well, she may be uh, fabricating some things or lying about some things because, you know, that's what happened with Amber Heard. Um, I mean, kind of what do you think about that take? I mean, fuck that take. Uh, I mean, uh, to my knowledge, Amaranth doesn't also have a history of uh, domestic abuse or violent behavior against her partners. Amber Heard does. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of one thing about it. Um, so, I mean, you know, who knows? It could be some more evidence that comes out that, you know, maybe something shocking will maybe come out. But I don't know what's going to come out that's going to justify that.